Are you uh, saying are you saying an insecure right man now. or a man that has insecurities? Because that's those insecure, two totally I, different things. Hold on, hold on. I literally said an overtly insecure man. Okay, we what does that look like? I literally said that. No, I'm asking, overtly? what does that look like? A man that's overtly insecure, uh, he's jealous, uh, he thinks uh, his, his woman is going to leave him, um, he, he's worried about his beard or his hair like we talking about or whatever, uh, he, he's not confident like Precious said. When a man is in Rob Kardashian. But my huh? question wasn't, my question Rob was directed Kardashian. towards overtly insecurities. My, my question was directly directed towards perhaps having abandonment issues and not having a father figure. And well, that's what he has to or not having a father a woman, though. And still Most overtly insecure men become in, violent. In, They're not just the sitting there like a simp. They right. become physically mm. violent with women, with men. Yeah. Like they don't, they're not just sitting at home letting people run over them. If you no, look well, at what statistics, I'm saying is, I'm, if you look I'm, at the behavioral, the I think behavioral you're the point I was making. Proof. What huh? I was saying is, okay, so we know the, the lack of a father in the household, the insecurities that could be there is that the fact that he don't have that presence of masculinity that actually can show him how to be a leader and a protector and then right. go out in a relationship and portray those qualities to a woman in a relationship so she can feel safe. What I'm saying is, since you agree that, that that these kids, these women are calling these men weak, they're probably they're more than likely indirectly calling their sons weak. And then what? And, and that's the case. Shouldn't these women that's actually dating these men that don't have a father in a household, should they have some type of grace or compassion for them? Absolutely not. No. Well, are you making this up? Like, are you making no. this up? Absolutely not. No, because no, no, like no. I just said, like I said, Bruiser, it's very important when it comes to a man taking that woman away from her family or her safe space, it's oh, okay. Okay, okay. I get, I get what you say. She's his responsibility. So regardless of who did what, you need to leave that woman alone if you can't be fully responsible for that woman. No, right no. Here. What I'm she's saying looking, is, what I'm, she's looking to him for security, and he doesn't feel secure. But what I'm that saying way. is, should should you have some grace? You should have some grace and compassion. We just said no. I've well, had grace no. for you. No. 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 Well, Bruiser, I can answer that. Do you have grace for single women? Because you tear them down every chance you get, baby mamas. Yeah, I, I had so a that would answer your question single, right there. I had a grace for a single, single woman. Yes, I had one. I'm single women my... with children that came up with, without a father? Because I Do hear I have your grace talking for them? Yeah. I, I don't have to have grace for them. I'm married. And, okay, that answers your question. Me. What what I'm saying well, why is why are you wanting women to have grace? You, you, you're, you're, you're not you're not let me you're not let me give you the elaboration so you can understand, Mr. Lego. What I'm saying is, if you if you calling men weak because they have these insecurities, and these kids are these these sons are growing into these men adults with these insecurities, and you are you you know you have the knowledge that if you raise these kids in a household without the father and you agree to the custody agreements, knowing that they're better off knowing that they potentially wouldn't have these insecurities if they were with the father. What I'm saying is you should have some grace for these, for these young men, these men that have these insecurities. Why? Why? Because you have men who, who were absent fathers judging women who did not have fathers as well, saying that it, it doesn't matter. So you, you, know, you, just, you just you went still, another route from my nope, court. No, what I did not. Left. I'm <laughs> telling you, this is the right, one like, what you're asking. So if you're saying, Women should give grace because they have their raising sons, whatever the reason. Then okay, grace here, go, here go in a nutshell. Okay. If women are creating weak men and these weak men are going into the dating market and then you're going to say, oh, no, I don't want you. Isn't that Let me like ask the question? Let me answer the question. Okay, so basically you keep you're talking. saying you want women to give grace to the point to act like his mother in a relationship when hey, we have you. conversations. I'm saying, grace I'm saying he's going to raise weak men Bruiser, we say, oh, we're going to deny you. you. Here's the question. Oh, yeah, we we just disagree it. because if your grace is only one sided, that that just cancels it out. Because if you're right. saying we don't give grace to women who didn't have fathers, even though we know this is the effect of it, but this is the effect of boys that don't have fathers. How come we are supposed to give men grace who are the ones that did not have fathers more than likely going to end up being a pookie? He's not going to know how to do the position. So you're saying to give grace to men who did not have a male structure so he's going to be feminine i'm going to be masculine and i'm not called to be masculine why would i that makes no sense that's bro, I, I didn't say I, listen bro, i didn't say finish you you okay. we, we answering your question bro but y'all pandering i'm asking y'all so all right one mic one question. mic precious i don't think men give women grace to be masculine 
That's not something that men Thank would you. give women grace to be because you want us to be feminine when we reach you. So mm -hmm. we as women want men to be masculine uh, when when we're with them. And being masculine means that you're taking everything into consideration in, in your being to be able to show up to show that security. If you know that you didn't have that covering when you were a child, that's a man's responsibility to seek out a male coach, a therapist, um, your pastor, I don't know, but somebody other than your girl, because she's going to become your therapist and she's not going to be yep. your woman. And believe me, that's not a, a good place to be, especially if you're not married to this person. You become very tired, bogged down from this person. You feel smothered. You feel like this person don't really have anyone else to talk to. They, yep. they don't really trust anybody else. That is something that as a man, you have to say, I need to, I, I know I'm deficient in this area and I have to seek out the resources to be able to help me be secure, a coach or someone, someone that's going to be able to hold your hand through it all. Because when, she, when she becomes your wife, that she becomes your wife because you have shown and given the qualities that you're able to show up as her husband. Facts. Not as the boy who didn't have his father. Now, that's still going to be there. Don't get me wrong. That's never going to go away. But at some point, you have to take that into your control and, and have autonomy in that area to say, I lacked this when I was a child. And I know that when I get into a relationship, these insecurities are going to show up. They're going to show up probably day one. So, so let me ask you this, Precious, and that's a good point. Hold on. I, I, Ali, you got to go. Ali, you want to go. We we got what you're saying, Bruiser. Everybody well, wants to respond. We're going to go to Ali, then Nurse Key. I don't think most men are insecure because of the underperforming part. I think most men are insecure because they're, they're being emasculated. And when we are naturally drawn to y'all, we are naturally drawn to y'all. We are, we are naturally afraid of losing you as well, too, starting from our mothers. Men and women both come back to mothers. We love women. But what makes men emasculated and insecure is when what they're doing as a man is not good enough for a woman. I think that's what makes men insecure. So when we're saying women are emasculating men, men are showing up masculine, but we're having women who want to leave the families now and they want men to work for them and they want men to be afraid of losing them instead of being women who work for these men and afraid of losing uh, men. That's the problem with a lot of today's society. A lot of women want to be prioritized and their feelings prioritized over the, a great relationship and a healthy relationship with that man. Because y'all all know this. If you can get a man to be vagina whipped, if you can get a man to jump over hurdles and do anything for you, you already lost him. You know who you're dealing with. And he's a filler. And what happens is when you really do meet a good man and a good solid man who is secure, you've met so much of... of We'll say men who've been emasculated and they've done everything for you and built you up so much that when you meet an actual man you got to work for, you don't know what to do with yourself. A lot of women do not know how to show up as a woman and they'll push that man away.